I know a lot of players out there are still struggling with man coverage, especially now that there is a shade down meta that is tending to be the most popular way of playing man to man in Madden 23. So in today's video, I'm going to remind you of a tip that I've done once already on this channel because it is even more useful now than it was when I originally dropped it. What is that route? Well, I'll tell you on the other side of the intro. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Zay from the Zayman YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a route that I introduced back in August, maybe it was early September, but the meta right now dictates that this route is something you need to add into your offense more than ever. As you guys have noticed, I'm sure, there is a shade down man coverage meta out there right now. A lot of players are shading down, shading inside or outside on top of that and kind of uh, leaving their DBs on an island. And due to the lack of time to really get a lot of routes open deep, like posts and some of the routes that we've become accustomed to, like crossers getting wide open across the field four or five seconds into a play, the pass rush prevents that this year. So you have to look for alternative options. And that route is gonna be the smart route of fade stop. Now, this route is something that I've been a big fan of for many years now. You guys have been a member of my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg, you know this very well. If you guys have been on the YouTube channel, you've seen me break it down as well against zone this year we're gonna be using the smart route of fade stop against man to man now before i get into this tip could you guys do me a quick favor make sure you guys hit that follow button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's absolutely free and also make sure that you hit that notification bell so you guys know when i upload daily monday through friday in the early mornings now let's go ahead and tell you guys what you need for this to make this work you're going to need an outside receiver apprentice or you need a quarterback with the hot route master now, what I would also recommend with this is some sort of route ability, whether it be a route tech or a short out elite to help this route fire on the acceleration up the field. I know that that is a little bit sketchy because a lot of players don't run short out elite or route tech, but I'm telling you, it's going to make this tip much, much better for you. Now, the route ability isn't 100% mandatory, although I do think it adds consistency to the tip. You guys can actually get a solid release with a player that doesn't have a route ability as well, but I think you're gonna really be impressed with this tip by looking at the way Devontae Adams does this against Tredavious White. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you guys what to do here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna run a defense that is pressed, shaded down, maybe shaded inside as well. A lot of players love to do that. And you're going to take your outside receiver apprentice and you're gonna notice that the extra routes are Post corner, corner, post, and fade stop. A lot of you probably already use a hot route master for the purpose of a C route right here. This is just another tip that's gonna help you guys out, I promise you. So you're gonna use the fade stop. And this is gonna be really, really good uh, because you're going to then smart route it from 10 to 20 yards. And more often than not, this is gonna get an elite break down the sideline. And what I mean by that is he's gonna come off the press and then he's gonna accelerate down the field. And you see exactly what we got right there. Just throw a little high point uh, touch pass. I do think high points are probably gonna go by the wayside in an upcoming EA patch, just a hunch. But for right now, this is a really, really good tip um, that you guys can use. So again, you use this press release animation, he gets outside and then he accelerates up the field and you could go ahead and throw that ball up. Right there, we just kind of overthrew it just a smidge. If you guys wanna free form it, feel free. Uh, but this is gonna be really, really good when you get a press coverage and you notice that they're shading one direction or the other. Again, you're gonna notice pretty consistently that he's gonna get off this jam and then boom, up the field. And you could go ahead and throw that ball up to him very, very consistency, uh, consistently. So there are two different breaks on this. Um, there's that first release that fires and then he gets off the press and then that second release fires and accelerates him down the field for you to throw this. Now, why is this tactic so important to be able to have a fade stop that can beat man press like this? Well, you have to remember that a lot of players like to play man but they're scared of those solo receivers on a C route. So what they do is they actually take that dude and they put him into maybe an outside third. And this is going to be them guessing, right? So you want something that can still strike for a big game that is not a C route. Um, so being able to put a small route and fade stop on your field is gonna be key because you can go ahead and run him down the field against it, wait for him to hitch up, and then throw it as a, basically a deep curl route. So that's the really, really cool part about it is if it bails, whether it's a zone or it's man to man, you can still throw this. Even if it's off man to man coverage, it runs so far down the field and then you just anticipate the, the, the turn and then you click on and come back and get the football. Now don't Equinamia St. Brown that. But you are going to want to make sure that you click on and come back to the football. Also important with this particular type of throw, probably would recommend that you guys have a velocity ability. 
Uh, if you don't have a velocity ability on your quarterback, it makes this a lot easier for the DB to break on the throw. Uh, but, you know, you're going to get solid results uh, with this if you come back to the football. The other thing, obviously, if they start to play, you know, an outside third on you, you can definitely go with the comeback route. In fact, that was a feature of the last title update where they noted that they were going to give us better separation against outside thirds and outside force on comeback routes. So you guys can use those as well if you notice they're playing C routes. But all in all, this is a really, really good route because of its ability to beat man press and accelerate down the field, as well as its ability to check up as a deep curl route if they are playing a shaded over the top or a bail or a zone on the outside where the DB isn't getting roasted for you to lob it down the sideline. So that is one really, really good element of this. Now, that is today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. Heck, an emoji or anything for the algorithm will you know, push this video out to Madden players looking for tips and tutorial content. And if you guys want more content, make sure you guys go over to my strategy website, www.gridirongameplans.gg. $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website. That's over 110 vault tips. Uh, I believe we're up to eight offensive and defensive game plans, Discord access for our members, and lab sessions every single Wednesday. So hopefully I'll see you guys over there on Gridiron. If not, we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and goodbye.